This is 2006 Mac Mini. Pretty old computer with classic design and pretty low specs. Basically with current specs this Mac Mini isn't really useful. It's outdated, it has 32-bit CPU and it's running pretty slow. But for a very cheap and some changes I turned this Mac Mini into a pretty fast media center running unsupported 64-bit macOS. I'm Andrew and welcome to my ultra-budget Mac Mini project. Before I start with some modifications, first let's take a look at the current specs. How I said before, this is 2006 Mac Mini. And these models are the first Mac Mini models made with Intel CPU. This Mac Mini has 32-bit Intel Core Duo CPU running at 183 GHz. The RAM is 1 GB DDR2. The GPU is Intel GMA950. The hard disk is 80 gigs, and this Mac Mini is running macOS 10.6 Snow Leopard, which is maximum supported operating system. In a virtual condition and with these low end specs, I got this Mac Mini for about 20 US dollars on a auction. But I got the Mac Mini and the power adapter only. I mean, without keyboard and mouse or any other additional stuff. Because of the 32-bit CPU. And because of the old firmware, this Mac Mini is very limited. First, it doesn't support more than 2 gigs of RAM, and I can use 32-bit macOS only. But, however, with a few small changes, this Mac will be pretty nice and fast media center again. Also, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple guide how actually I done this. And if you have some older Mac, you can learn how you can upgrade and make it useful again. Before I start with some software upgrades, first I will need to upgrade the hardware. I will need to change the current 32-bit CPU with a newer 64-bit CPU and I will upgrade the RAM. The CPU that I'm going to use is Intel Core 2 Duo T7200. This is 64-bit CPU and is good enough to run newer 64-bit operating system. About RAM, I'm going to use 4 gigs in total. I mean 2 RAM models with 2 gigs capacity. And this RAM I take out from my very old non-working laptop. Now let's start with disassembling. Disassembling the Mac Mini isn't very complicated as looking. As tools I use putty knife and screwdriver. And I follow some disassemble guide on YouTube. Now I'm going to remove the old CPU and I'm going to install the new 64-bit CPU.
Now, after I change the CPU, I will going to place 2 gigs of RAM only. Because of the current firmware, this Mac Mini support maximum 2 gigs of RAM. And if I put 4 gigs, this Mac Mini will not start. Actually, I'm going to upgrade to 4 gigs of RAM after the firmware upgrade. Now I turn on and I test this Mac Mini to be sure that everything is running well. And everything is working pretty well with the new CPU and RAM without any issue. Ok, now it's time to upgrade the firmware. With upgrading the firmware, I will turn this Mac Mini from Mac Mini 1.1 to Mac Mini 2.1. And with this upgrade, this Mac Mini will support 4 gigs of RAM and 64-bit operating system. To upgrade the firmware, I will use one very simple tool. Actually, upgrading the firmware isn't complicated. The first step is installing the firmware inside the macOS and after, I'm going to reboot the Mac and restart the Mac Mini with holding the power button about 15 seconds. And basically that's all. After I upgrade the firmware, now I can install the other 2 gigs of RAM and I can fully assemble this Mac Mini. Before I continue with some other upgrades, first I done the final tests. I want to check and be sure that all is working well. Now this Mac Mini is support and fully read 4 gigs of RAM and faster CPU than before. The performance are much better now and this Mac is working much faster than before. With these specs, now I can install the macOS 10.7.5 or the macOS Lion. But I'm not going to do that for now and I will go with something newer like macOS 10.8 Mountain Lion and macOS 10.9 Mavericks. Now I'm going to show you how to install unsupported Mac on this Mac Mini. And first let's start with creating the USB installer. Also, this method works with other older Apple computers, I mean not with Mac Mini only. To create a USB installer, basically you need access to Mac. You need to download the macOS that you want to install and you need a USB from 8 gigs or more. Also, you will need to download Mac Post Factor tool. As usual, when you're creating the USB installer for Mac, first you need to erase the whole USB. After the USB is erased, let's move on the Mac Post Factor. Here everything is very simple. You need to select which macOS you will going to install and you will need to choose the empty USB drive. Now in options, I will select clean install and under the EFI I can choose 32 or 64. Also, under options, I can choose the GPU option. This option, actually in some cases, will help to fix the graphics, but not with all. Now, I will select install, erase again, and basically this is all about creating the USB installer. Very simple and very easy.
Now, after the USB installer is finished, on the USB I will copy the basic texts or the drivers, in case if I need to reinstall something. Now let's move on the installing process. The installing process of macOS on unsupported Mac actually is simple. I mean the installing process is the same like installing supported Mac. Because I'm going to make clean install, first in disk utility I will going to erase the disk and after I will continue with installing the macOS. Now, after the macOS is installed, I will continue with basic and usual setup. And finally, this Mac Mini is running unsupported Mac. The first macOS that I try is the macOS Mountain Lion. The macOS Mountain Lion on this Mac Mini is working pretty well. All hardware is working well, the USB ports, the audio, the graphics, but I have no internet connection. I mean the LAN connection and the Wi-Fi connection. This actually may happen in some cases, but this issue is easy to fix. To fix the Wi-Fi and the other connections, I used Kext Wizard or Kext Installer, and I used the basic Wi-Fi, I mean the network Kext. After installing the Wi-Fi text, I mean the network text, first I reboot the Mac Mini and after boot everything is back into the normal and I can connect to the Wi-Fi and access to the web. The macOS Mountain Lion is pretty fast on this Mac Mini and personally I did not expect this. The Mac animations are going pretty smooth even using 1080p resolution and the basic apps are working pretty fast. Because of the specs, I can't run some more heavy softwares or games, but the basics are working pretty well. It's great for web browsing, using social media, watching movies, it's great for music, and it's great for documents and typing, and for some other basic things. Honestly, I'm really surprised how everything is working pretty well. After I've tried the macOS Mountain Lion, I continue with other operating systems. And on this Mac Mini, I installed the macOS 10.9 Mavericks. But in the macOS Mavericks, I faced with a few usual issues. The GPU is not working properly, I mean, I didn't have a full GPU acceleration. And the internet connection is not working also. Now, to fix the graphics and the internet connection, I will use the same method like in the macOS Mountain Lion. Using Kext Wizard, I will reinstall the drivers only, I mean the GPU and the internet card drivers. After installing this basic Kext, everything is back into the normal. The GPU is working well now and I have internet connection. Because this Mac Mini has a 64 MB GPU the macOS Mavericks is working a little bit slower than the macOS Mountain Lion, but it's still fully usable. The Mac animations are not very smooth, but the other basic apps are working pretty well. However, this Mac Mini with the macOS Mavericks is still good for the basics. I mean, using basic and light apps, web browsing, social media, watching videos and other basics.
After I tried the macOS Mavericks, I tried to install some newer operating system. And maximum that I got is the macOS Yosemite. But the macOS Yosemite is useless on this Mac Mini. I tried a dozen of fixes, I mean to fix the graphics and the other hardware, but nothing works. But however, the macOS Mavericks and the Mountain Lion are working pretty well. Well, basically this is all about this budget Mac Mini. This Mac Mini isn't some powerful computer, but is good enough for basic stuff. Like web browsing, using social media, watching movies and other basics. Actually, this is more like some office or media computer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you want to support me, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.